Hello friends, this video on triangle and its properties part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So what are we going to learn next? Definitely something related to triangle. So you might be thinking, so what am I trying to show you on the screen? There is a school, there is a home. So what am I trying to say? Let me ask you a very simple question from your day to day life. Let's say that this is your school and this is your home as you can see on the screen and there are two possible routes or two options that you have to return from your school to your home. So these are the route numbers one and two. So these are the two possible routes to your home. So one option is you follow route number one that is you directly come this way. The second option is you start from your school you go this side and then you take a turn and you come home like this. So these are the two possible routes. So if I ask you which one would you choose? What would you say? Would you like to go via a longer route which is route number two or a quicker and shorter route that is route number one? Which one will you prefer? Of course you will prefer route number one because this is a shorter route. So it might even take you lesser time. So what am I trying to tell you with this? So when you actually look at these roots which I have drawn on the screen, you see that they form a kind of a triangle. They form a triangle and in this triangle, what we actually did just now was something like this. Let us name this triangle. Let us call this A, B and C. So this is a triangle A, B, C where we found that root number 2, what was root number 2? Root number 2 was AB plus BC. That was root number 2. And this root number 2 was greater than root number 1. And what is root number 1? Root number 1 is nothing but AC. And this is a very important property of any triangle. And that is what we are going to learn in this section that sum of two sides of a triangle is always greater than the third side. So that is the property. So this property about the side lengths of a triangle states that sum of the lengths of any two sides of a triangle is always greater than the third side. So let us look at this triangle. So when you take this triangle, as per this property, if you measure the length of the sides, all the three sides, that is AB, BC and AC, you will see that AB plus BC will be greater than AC. Similarly, you will see that AC plus BC will also be greater than AB. You will also see that AB plus AC is greater than BC. So all of these would be true. That means you can pick up any two sides, find their sum that will always be greater than the third side. And in fact, this is not only true for any particular type of triangle. You can actually try it out. You can start measuring side lengths of different triangles, whether it is a, a right angle triangle or acute triangle, or whichever triangle, scalene triangle, isosceles triangle. For any triangle, sum of the lengths of any two sides is always greater than the third side. Now there is also an alternative way of expressing the same relation like as we said that AB plus BC that is AB this length plus this length is greater than AC. Now alternative way so let's call write it like this the alternative way to of expressing the same thing is that if we say that AB plus BC is greater than AC in a way we are trying to say that AB is greater than AC minus BC. That means we are trying to say that any particular side is always greater than the difference between the other two sides. So pretty simple. I mean both are the same thing. It is not that you need to memorize these definitions. These are not definitions. These are facts. You look at any triangle. Sum of two sides will always be greater than the third side. Now since sum of two sides is greater than the third side, that also means in, in, in an indirect way, it means that if you find out the difference between any two sides, that difference will always be less than the third side. 
so you pick up any two sides for example from the first relation this was the first relation from this relation we derived something like this which says that any side of a triangle is greater than the difference between the other two sides of the triangle right so do not focus so much on this alternative thing because it it might confuse you also it is just that two sides sum greater than the third side and indirectly that means the same thing that the sum of the one side is always greater than the difference between the other two sides so i hope this is pretty much clear and it it didn't create any confusion you look at any triangle sum of the two sides is greater than the third side Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.